Hey everyone, welcome back to Aliens on Toast Gaming and welcome back to the Isle. Now we're going to be doing something slightly different today and that is we are going to be playing on this map which is the Community Desert map I believe it's called. Um, so I mentioned in a video quite a while ago that I really loved the Walking with Dinosaurs special called The Ballad of Big Al which basically took place in this Utah looking desert landscape which essentially is what this map is so I'm extremely excited that somebody in the modding community was like hey we need a desert map let's do something based on Utah and that is a very big dinosaur. Was that a Rex? That is an aloe. Okay. I forget how small the raptor is. It has been a long time since we've played as the Velociraptor, but we're going to do that today. We're going to play mostly as the raptor uh, until we get to the Hera, and we're going to go down the Hera line today, uh, getting as far as Utah, and then we're just going to fuck around as Utah for as much as possible. So I have explored this map a little bit, not so much that I know where everything is, but just enough to know that there is water sources and kind of what to eat as a herbivore in case I wanted to do that line. Um, but I have been to these buildings and there is a lot of aloes in there. Uh, I, I have been to these buildings before and there is a little water trough in there which I find really cool. Can I go up these stairs? I can! Um, those aloes look like they're stalking so I'm gonna hide in the shadows. And, um, am I stuck? I can't move. Oh, I can, I can move. I am not stuck. I am stuck. I can't move. Maybe hiding in the shadows was not such a good idea. Um, but we're just gonna, gonna stay here and... Oh god, my head is 100% poking out. Hello there! Please don't eat me! I've only just spawned! Okay, I think we're good. He does not seem worried about it. Though that Hera took a risk. Are we under the... Yeah, we're underneath the platform now. We really are just stuck. Can I... Okay, I'm out. I'm, I'm free. I'm, uh living the life. Let's uh, crouch down. Am I crouched? I can't tell because I can't see anything. I'm in complete blackness. I think I'm crouched. No, now we're crouched. There we go. Yeah. Hello. You saw nothing. I'm stuck again. And go. In case he wants to eat us. We're going to run over here. And <laughs> I did the next. Oh, there's another one. Uh, let's hide in here. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit more stressful than I was imagining the beginning of this episode. Um, I was just hoping just to take a quick drink and then head off because I wanted to show like where the little water thing was on this. Uh, and I don't know if these aloes are particularly interested in eating me. I mean, I'm a mouthful for one aloe. It's almost not worth their time. Hello. Um, I'm just gonna taunt you. Yeah. <laughs> Laughing as a Velociraptor. I mean, I shouldn't be too stressed. I mean, I just spawned, so I'm just I'm just gonna troll these guys for a little while. I mean, I don't even can I jump through here? I can. I can very much jump through that window. I believe it's a door. Okay, I can jump through that door. Um, I'm just gonna troll these guys for a little while. Um, oh, oh, I can see in here. Can't see if I look over there apparently, but I can see if I keep my eyes in the darkness, or not. Maybe I just have to adjust after a little while. Um, yeah, hello. Nah, he's not interested. They're, they're not interested. They're, they're just probably going to get annoyed at me. Which, as a Velociraptor, that's my job. Um, wow, I'm stuck again. These these buildings are not meant for dinosaurs to be inside of. Maybe they're meant for humans to be inside of, considering that they're buildings. Can I get out, please? There we go. Okay, let's go hide in one of these ones. These ones seem to be less annoying. Um, we'll taunt the guy again. Hello! Ooh, is that, is that guy hunting me? He's gonna walk past this window. Oh! <laughs> That's such, like, stereotypical, like, hunting position he was just in. Looking into that window. Ah, oh, I, I wonder if there's food around here, he says. There is! It's me! I am the food! Um... I really should leave, though. I mean, I'm not exactly showcasing much of this map if I'm hiding inside a... A darkened building. I should probably go out and take a drink. Uh, is now a good time? Now is not a good time. Well, maybe it is. He just, I don't know. I don't know if these guys are actually like wanting to eat me or not. 
Um, but where that aloe is, that's where the water is. So we're gonna head over there. Um... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go. Let's risk it. Oop. Hide in these shadows. Maybe that, uh, that harrow will distract him enough. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. So here's the little water trough. And probably a bad place to stop. There's an aloe. Let's, uh... No, they don't care. I guess I'm small enough that they don't worry about it. Um... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna scream my lungs out and leave this place. Uh, now I know that there are some like key features of this map that I do want to explore. Uh, like especially I want to showcase, well not showcase, but just show you uh, where the food is. It took me ages to find. Um, I was playing as a Diablo uh, just the other day when I first loaded up this map. Um, and yeah, finding food as a herbivore is not easy. You can't just eat all of these plants along here. None of these are edible. The ones you have to eat are actually hidden on some lightly colored rocks. Uh, not that kind of rock. Um, so is there any around here that I could show? I'll find some later. I mean, I'm not too worried about it now. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to move into the next kind of cactus field because there's a lot of these. Uh, unlike the stone claw map, this map is actually quite large. In fact, it's probably... It's not, it's not the ILB3 large, it's large enough that it can accommodate a large amount of dinosaurs, but uh, I, I guess it's probably a little bit bigger than Stonewall, or at least it feels like it is. Uh, but one of the, probably the big problems of this map, if you're playing on it in survival mode like we are at the moment, is the fact that you have to hide a lot, and there's not very many places you can hide. If you're playing a Diablo, you're essentially out in the open the entire time. Uh, so I'm going to get up some of my stamina, and I'm going to head off in that direction, and hopefully find the next cactus field. Um, so let's just uh, make our way over there. See, this is, this is the problem with this map, and I don't mean problem in a bad way, I mean like, this is good. I like that this is a problem. Just like these open spaced areas that you have to cross. It kind of reminds me of the big, like, um, salt lakes that used to be in um, the ILB3 back in the day, where there was these huge expanses, which are now water, that you had to cross. Um, ooh, that's a taco. Oh, we don't need to eat. We don't need to kill that taco. I mean, if he spams it, yeah, we'll kill that taco, but, um, I think we should be good otherwise. Uh, as long as we continue on our way over here, we should be okay. Um, doesn't sound like anything's following us. Let's uh, keep trotting though, so that if anything is going to be hunting us down, they're going to have a hard time. Well, we're going to have a, at least enough stamina to run away from them. Um, that's the plan. But we'll just run up here and take a look-see. And there you go. There is a lot of area we can explore in this map. Now, I believe this part of the map has, like, uh, what's called Middle Finger Rock, which is essentially just a big pillar of, of rock uh, that looks kind of like a middle finger. Um, oop, that is a hera. I don't trust heras. Not when I'm smaller than them and have a difficulty outrunning them. Um, hopefully, he is not interested in eating us. Fingers crossed. Um, well, I guess what we might do is we might actually head up into this mountain here just to get a bit of a, a better look at the map. See if we can spot some key areas. Because I know that there's like the big rock formations. There's also like an oasis area, which I'd like to find. I didn't find that last time, but I heard people chatting about it. Um, so that would be good. And ooh, looks like we've got something come through here. Uh, another Velociraptor, cool. It matches our footprints. So, um, where did he get eaten? Where did his footprints go? Hello? Oh, there he is, up there. Let's go say hello to this guy. Um, I always like kind of tracking down dinosaurs, even if I'm not necessarily hunting them. Just finding them using the footsteps is fun. Hello there, little dude. Um, okay, so let's let's uh, jump up onto this outcropping and see if we can see them. <laughs> Why? Okay, so we're back as the Velociraptor. Uh, we actually spawned like right near where we were, so that's pretty good. Um, 
I waited for a little bit, got my progression points up, so we're actually almost ready to progress to a Hera, but just quickly wanted to show you guys what you can actually eat if you're playing as a herbivore, which is on these light colored rocks. Uh, any herbivore can eat these plants, which I know look exactly the same as the other ones. Um, I might actually hide in one of these plants. Um, so these ones look exactly the same, but they're edible. Uh, I don't know what that means in regards to game design. Okay, here we go. It is time for us to progress to the Hera. Uh, so like I said before, we are going for the Utah. Um, I just think that playing as the Utah Raptor in a Utah themed map seems pretty appropriate. Uh, so that's what I'm going to aim for. I'm not necessarily going to get it in this video, but hey, you never know. Um, so I think that there's a water source up in this direction. Oh, hey, Hera. Hello there, buds. How you doing? Uh, so I think there's a water source in this direction, past uh, the Middle Finger Rock, as it's called, which you can kind of see up ahead. Um, it's this large rock formation that's essentially just a big spire. That is a lot of Velociraptors just spamming at each other. Yeah, let's just uh, go this way. Let's take the, let's take the wide berth. I mean, I, I don't want to become Giga Food anytime soon. Uh, that would be that would be a bad thing. Oh, did not mean to roar then. That was a mistake. Please don't eat me. Uh, looks like there's two Gigas there, which is definitely not a good thing. I'm not I'm not exactly thrilled about that. Um, but hey, you know maybe that's just. Maybe they're not hungry. Maybe we can just peacefully go about our business. Uh, but anyway, that there is the pillar that is known as Middle Finger Rock. Let's leave this place now. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about today is one of the new mechanics, or well, not new mechanics, but new features of the game that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Um, so there was a stream that Dondi was on just the other day. Uh, we was actually talking about the new way the dinosaur was going to be eating. Uh, probably one of the most notable ways, and probably the best ways to describe it, is uh, with the carnivore eating mechanics, and they're going to change. So at the moment, when you kill something, it just spawns a ragdoll corpse that just falls to the ground, and you can eat it indefinitely, and anything can eat it. Anything that wants to eat it can come up, take a bite, whatever. Um, dinosaurs will camp that body, uh, sometimes to attract other dinosaurs, sometimes just because they know that there's food there. There's no point running around looking for more food. Let's not die again. Take it slow. Uh, yeah, let's get this way. Um, so yeah, so anything can eat from any dead body. So for example, a Rex can eat a taco. A Rex can eat a dead uh, pew. A Rex can eat a dead hera. Anything. It can take a, take a bite out of it. Um, so the new mechanics that are coming out are going to change that. Uh, it's not necessarily saying you can't eat anything, but for example, say a Rex killed a Taco or a Velociraptor, it would just pick it up, eat it in one bite, so the corpse is gone. Instead of taking a bite out of that ragdoll on the ground, picks it up and puts it into its mouth. That's the plan. Uh, but that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is that there's going to be a gore corpse system, which think like an already half-eaten carcass. Uh, and I've got a picture of this. This is what the gore corpses looks like. This is a large gore corpse, I believe, uh, that I will be showing you when I do the editing. Um, which is pretty cool. And oh, looks like the Oasis is up here. Hmm, awesome. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, say a Rex has killed a trike. So the trike will go down, the regular corpse will spawn, uh, and then the Rex will be able to eat it. However, once about 80% of the food is gone, or a certain percentage of the food is gone from that corpse, it will delete the uh, cut the uh, ragdoll corpse and spawn in an appropriately sized gore carcass corpse thing. Um, and what that means is that the Rex will no longer be able to eat that. Only certain dinosaurs can eat from certain size corpses, uh, carcasses. Uh, so, for example, with the small gore corpse, a, a Rex couldn't eat that, uh, but a Hera could. Which means that the Heras and the Ostros and uh, even the Velociraptor, for some extent, will be camping out these corpses, waiting for the larger dinosaurs to finish, before they can go in and take a bite. This also means that the uh, carnivores can use these gore corpses to kind of wait for other dinosaurs to come in. Say you're a carnotaur, 
you could wait by a gore corpse for the Harrows to come in, which you then decide to come take a bite out of yourself. Uh, similarly speaking, the um, uh, herbivores are getting a new mechanic. Uh, and similar to the large, small, uh, medium gore corpses, there's going to be large, small, medium shrubs and bushes, which means that, say, a steg could eat a small bush, medium bush, a trike can eat a medium bush, large bush, and there's going to be some competition. So that's going to be really interesting when that finally launches. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more info, but for now that's all we is. And now that we've found the Oasis, I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much for watching, and bye bye